This episode was really, really good. Even though, but it also explains a lot of things. This is Solid Isles Gaming Review of Naruto Shippuden episode 356. Shinobi of the Leaf. Basically, it starts off with what happened after Yamato, after Yamato, a Tento, a Kido, a he tries to take Kashi's Shinigan and fail. Fails. Uh, after that, after the episode starts, you know, Yamato was uh, tied up, Kakashi, she's trying to take, lead him away. You know, his mission was to investigate, but because of that, the mission failed, because, you know, he showed up. Um, and the foundation is pretty much, much, you know, they want Kakashi's eye. And he want him. And things are getting even worse now that they're trapped in the lab. One of the beakers break, and guess what comes out of it? Orochimaru's giant snake monster, basically. You know how Orochimaru was trying to perfect the way to transfer from body to body so he created the white serpent? The giant white serpent? It's the same thing, just without Orochimaru's mind. So, now basically they fight the snake. Snake even spreads out, creating smaller snakes. We saw that in the fight between him and Sasuke, right before Sasuke killed him. That's a, that was a pretty neat fight. Now, they experience everything. It's hard, hard to fight. It's hard to combat it. In fact, when Yamato's hands tied up, Yamato is literally swallowed by a swarm of the snakes. But Kakashi managed to save him. He kills the snake hey, using his lightning bullet. Hey, then it does it. Hey, but at the same time, you also cut it in half. Hey, and that is a bad move. Remember, the bodily fluids of the white snake will hit the air. They have a numbing effect. Basically, like a, like a paralyzing drug. You know, like snake poison in your body. Same concept. Just... Instead of fighting, it's inhaling through the through the through the body, and it's even, especially hard. Even and Kakashi, he saved Yamato, and he did it, did it without any resort. Because for Kakashi, it has been a couple of years. It has been a couple of years since what happened to them. And Kakashi is older, and he doesn't want to see any of his friends die. And and, and Yamato even saves Kakashi from the numbing effect of the White Serpent. And, but Yamato has made making a hasty, hasty decision, a very critical decision. And as he as the he's knocked out, he had the choice to take his eye, basically take it out. Right, after that, now he leaves Kakashi behind, behind, and take and takes something with him, the shotgun, gun, and he leaves with his friend. His friend didn't do no, his friend didn't do nothing. He basically waited outside, saying saying what the end result was, like he was some kind of kind of basically ref some kind of nothing, just someone waiting for some for the job to be done. Uh, but it turns out that he didn't do what he people thought he uh, he did. He left Kakashi alive with the shouting on intact. And after he left a note that he abandoned the mission that he doesn't want to kill a friend. Kakashi is basically his only friend. And because none of you know how the foundation are. Basically they show no emotion. In fact the only other person I think from the foundation who showed emotion under Yamato is Sai. I mean, I mean, that's basically, they all follow orders. They have no emotion, no past, no present, no future. That's their concept. And, and he, after he abandons the mission, he leaves Kakashi the note. Kakashi is on a haste. And he goes to the third Hokage, pleading him to help save Kino. And to stop this madness. And, and, think, and meanwhile, things progress very bad. Because Kakashi's no fool. He can tell that the shot on the given was fake, created by the wood style. Now, that's not a real shotting gun. And Gonzo's upset to tell that he failed and abandoned mission. And he keeps and he and in fact Yamato even drops his own name that he is not Kinoe. He drops his name, literally drops it. And drops his bombshell on Donzo because he trusted because Donzo trusted him with a mission that he trusts people to handle and, and he trusted Yamato he Donzo trusted him to get the job done, and he didn't do it. And Johnson was literally furious, so much so that he takes his sh and his arm, uses his shot and gun, sees his eye to paralyze Yamato, and came on to prepare him to use the curse mark. Meanwhile, while Kakashi, as he asked for the Hokage's help, the Hokage like please had a note that to make sure there's a meeting to plan a meeting between him and Donzo to make sure nothing bad goes awry, so he can discuss this. But Kakashi. He, and Kakashi is sent to the infirmary, but Kakashi doesn't listen. He follows Yagura, you know who y uh, Yugi is. And she's from the last episode, the, you know, the Hayate Gekko's lover. Um, if, you're a fan of, if you're a fan of the series, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but meanwhile, I, meanwhile, from that, uh, from that, Kakashi and Yagura go, go, to the, go to the foundation, and Yamato is being prepped for the curse mark. 
uh, they've arrived. And they give the note, but Kakashi he doesn't. He doesn't want to leave. He not to leave to go to the dirt Hokage. Hey, we know what. Like, she he does he he does his best to save Yamato from the curse mark. He even uses his Sharingan to paralyze the guards and to investigate. You know about the Sharingan and their hypnotic guy, their Genjutsu power. And, you know, that's you now he uses them. He managed to save him and get him out of trouble. But things are getting bad for Mars. Council caught him, and he's no fool. Oh, he caught him. It, it's like an inner turmoil and fighting within the foundation. He's saying Yamato is not. To is not gonna let Kakashi get hurt by Danzo. Danzo uses his wind style. Everything is basically in turmoil on the inside. And Kakashi, she's on the edge, and so is Yamato. Danzo's not gonna let them leave. They people thought they were gonna be down and out, but no. Guess who comes on there? Dun dun dun. He was in the third Hokage shows up, and he's not alone. He brought back up the whole Ambu squad. Basically, he basically he he has to stop this. Uh, what they're doing, basically, he saved their asses, <laughs> pretty much. Basically, he saved them and from all that trouble. He even asked that Donso hands over the uh, the witch style user and the why he kept it a secret. He said he rescued him, he raised him, he did, was important enough to tell him. It was important enough, Donso. You just a sneaky bastard. And Donso's a crafty bastard. He bastard. He know, uh, but he's also smart. He knows they. He knows that he'd be telling him and everything that he wouldn't get his way. I mean, think about it with the whole, his deal with Orochimaru and everything. And he also knows that with the third Hokage here and there, he, and if he started anything bad, it would lead to a civil war within the Hidden Leaf. And he knows that. Donzo's always had intentions, good intentions for the heat, even though it ends abruptly and badly, and he always has his own bad intent. And that's what Don and 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 here's this trying to and here's the third Hokage trying to convince him to give Yamato to him under his direct order to the Anbu and to give him because you see he also said that the Chichuriki boy is four years old that means Naruto is at least four years old that means at least over three years has passed since the death of Minato oh and Kushida and the and the and the Nine Tails disaster and that is a very 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 important part now that. Now that style no user has been found and who hand over to the hidden lead, that means that Naruto is an important asset. That means he can calm Naruto down if the nine tails ever get out of trend. And that's always huge for you. He always thinking ahead. That's and yeah and, and reluctantly Donzo agrees to this. Even though he doesn't like the idea. Yeah. Later you get after that they leave, later you get T Yamato introducing himself as Kinoe hey, in the Yambu. Oh, but then he sees Kakashi and Kakashi say, Hello, Ten yeah, what's up, Tenzo, or something like, Hey, Tenzo, I think he's in, in the past, and you and no one called you Tenzo, nobody start calling you Tenzo, even though that's your name. And, and Kinoe was your code name. Here in the Yambu, there's no code name. And that's basically how Kakashi started him, calling him Tenzo. Oh, and, and, he, and, and he said, you'll be a, you'll be, You're a part of a team, you'll be under me from now on. Um, yeah, Yamato's happy in the episode end. And the next episode is a very interesting chapter. Not just Anbu, not just Kakashi's life. It's the life of one of the most famous Uchiha uh, and notorious to the hidden leaf that you ever know. Dun -dun -dun -dun! Itachi Uchiha. The, and the next episode is called the Uchiha Anbu. You know about Itachi that he killed his whole family to protect the hidden leaf from civil war. And even though it was a heavy burden. And he did it anyway because he had to follow orders. Yes. And that is Itachi for you. He, he sacrificed his own feelings for the good of the people. And I can't wait to see that episode. Even though it's not a, mainly not about Kakashi anymore, but I like to see it. You know, it's a good. You gotta admit, Kakashi, Kakashi is a badass, and the same is for. The same thing goes for Itachi Uchiha. You can't lie about that. This is all, uh, and I'll put the link down in the description. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching this Sun of Lu of Lu of Shibuden episode three five six. Hope you enjoyed. That's why to come around and subscribe. I think.